Hi, I'm Mrs. Riso, and today in PS Science, we are going to be learning about silkworms. Do you know where silk comes from? It actually comes from an insect called a silkworm. A silkworm is a caterpillar that likes to eat one particular type of leaf. Do you remember when we talked about how different leaves grow? A silkworm eats a leaf from a mulberry tree. Here is a picture of a mulberry tree. The silkworm uses the mulberry tree or the leaf as its host plant. It lays its eggs on a leaf just like this. So when the eggs hatch, the larvae are ready to start eating. As you can see here, this is what the larva looks like when it first hatches. After some time, the larva changes into a silkworm looking like this. As you can tell, it has a mouth and different sets of legs. At the top, it has its real legs to help it crawl. The back, it has pro legs to help it stick to the leaf or the branch that it is crawling on. After five to seven weeks, a silkworm starts to spin its cocoon. Using one thread of silk, it spins a cocoon in three days. Inside that cocoon, the silkworm changes into a pupa. The pupa then goes through its metamorphosis and emerges as a moth. It bites a hole at the top of the cocoon and comes out looking like this. As you can tell, this moth has two wings, two antenna, and six legs. It does not fly. Over time, this moth will lay more eggs to start the life cycle again. I hope you enjoyed learning about silkworms. Bye. Okay, scientists, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.